Hi, I'm John the Engineer Turmel, running for Prime Minister of Canada, if I can get my dream team elected, from johnturmel.com slash dreamteam.htm. And this is about Rick Mercer's recent rant about vote mobs. And yes, the students are enthusiastic about getting out there and voting. Not voting for a particular idea that's going to help them, just voting. Duh. Political satirist Rick Mercer went on television recently and challenged Canada's 3 million youth to get out there and vote. Sure, you have nothing in particular to vote for, you have nobody in particular to vote for, but get out there and vote. Why is he so interested in this? What inspired him? Well, let's ask him. So Rick, I think you've started something here. What inspired you to challenge the youth to get out there and vote? Because the conventional wisdom is, held by all the political parties, is that they don't vote. And certainly they have now proven that they are certainly engaged and we'll see if they show up at the polls. Sure, you have nothing in particular to vote for, you have nobody in particular to vote for, but get out there and vote. So well, what is it about this youth movement? This is a perfect example of young people uh, doing things in a brand new way. And what do you think three million people showing up at the polls is going to change? Because I certainly told them to get angry and I certainly told them to go out and vote. So not are you, are you supposed to go out there and vote for whom you don't know about, you're supposed to get angry about it first, too. But, you know, in the back of my, my mind, I was thinking, perhaps some of them will write a nasty letter to the local paper. Oh, yeah, writing a letter to the editor. That's action. But, no, they, they start these vote mobs. And you know what? If you go on YouTube and you put in vote mobs, you see they're happening all over the country. Another excuse for a party are these vote mobs. Do you see them discussing any issues? No, they're cheering the fact they're going to vote. Not they have any vote for. And they're so they're cheering that they're going to be voting, not cheering that they've got something to vote for. They're just such great viewing. Every time you watch one of these things, you come away with the feeling that the kids are all right, the country's all right, people are engaged, you just feel good. Yeah, you watch these kids who are going to vote for nothing in particular, and you get a good feeling that the country's okay, they're engaged, you feel good. Feel good about having nothing to vote for, new? Which is not necessarily the way you feel when you watch the news during a, an election campaign. Ah, yes, cheering young youth who are ready to vote, get out there and give us their opinion, their uninformed opinion on what's going on, makes them feel confident and better compared to the regular news where you know these losers have nothing new to offer. It's a feel-good story, and it's happening all across the country. A feel-good story, not a feel-smart story. This is the young people of Canada. This is what they're doing, and it's phenomenal, and it's spreading all across the country, and it is terrifying the political party. Three million uninformed youth voters is terrifying nobody. So did you vote as a youth? Yes, I did. And I think people should vote because, you know what, voting is a habit. You start young, you get hooked, and it's just something that you do. So Rick Mercer, presented with the same choice of losing strategies in the past, got hooked on picking losers. And this, you know what was really exciting, University of Guelph, the, uh, the, you know, the advanced poll that they had, again, that was such a great feel-good story. It's 700 students had a special ballot at the University of Guelph. So the cheery note is that the Guelph students voted, not that they had anything smart to vote for, or they were cheerful about something new they might vote for. The mere fact that they voted, that's all they need to make people happy. So, you know, I would like to see these happening in, in every university and campus across the country. I think it's phenomenal. Yes, it's phenomenal. Students are voting with nothing to vote for. That is pretty phenomenal. Yeah, but what do you think? It's exciting. Yes, instead of voting day, every university should have a special day so we can turn voting into a party since we're not actually voting for anything good we're going to get. You have, have you looked at these videos? They're very, very exciting. They're funny, they're fun, they're just, they're just fantastic. They're funny, they're fun, they're fantastic, they're just not particularly smart. And the students involved are really great and really articulate. But what do you think now about the leaders in the campaign, the leaders that we're seeing day after day in this campaign? They have leaders of the campaign to get people out to vote, even though there's nothing in particular good to vote for. Real leadership. <laughs> well, you know, everyone likes to say that they're not paying attention to an election or, oh, we don't need another election again. But the numbers for that leaders debate were phenomenal. Over 4 million Canadians. 
It's, that, that means the Canadians are engaged, they're watching, and the fact that the political powers that be won't have another debate is completely absurd because... Because they don't have anything to offer to Canada. And repeating their wish list of things we need, things we have to have, things you'd like us to have, it gets boring after a while. At some point, someone might say, well, what are you going to do to give it to us? Then what do they do? So no wonder they want just one debate. If the evidence is there that 4 million Canadians will take two hours out of their day and sit there and watch and hear what they have to say, then they should be doing this uh, again and again before Election Day. But instead, they're saying, oh, no, no, you know, I, I, I'm too busy uh, talking to um, partisan party workers in this hall, and uh, I'll spend, you know, millions of dollars putting negative ads or whatever out on TV, but I won't go on TV and actually debate the ideas and talk about what it is that I offered in Canada when, uh, when obviously there is a huge appetite for it. Yes, there's an appetite for wanting something to be done, finding out if there's a solution. And after two hours, they heard nothing, and they'd still be interested in finding out if there's a solution. But since the parties that the Big Brother media allow you to see on TV are the same parties you always see who don't have any solutions, look at expecting a different result from the same process is a sign of lunacy. How can you expect the guys who've never had the answers in the past, discussion restricted to them, to come up with a new answer now? I feel great about these boat mobs because to me, it, like I say, you watch the videos and you just feel great. Yes, watch the videos of uninformed kids going out to vote and feel great because there's nothing else out there to feel great about. No one's got an answer you're hearing about, right? And they are the most non-partisan videos you've ever seen. And there's nothing negative about these things. No one is saying, down with this. this is, there's no down with this, down with this, down with this. It's up with this, up with this. You know? No, if they had an up with this, a good idea, we'd hear about it. All they've got is up with voting, not up with this. They didn't say up with interest-free loans. They don't know. They didn't say up with marijuana, though 90% of them agree. They don't know that it's available. They just see the same four parties on TV offering them the same nothing and are supposed to get enthusiastic about getting out there to vote for nothing. The people out there getting enthusiastic about voting for the mere fact it's voting, what a disgraceful waste. No are dressed in, in, you know, Canadian flags, they're running around, they're singing Oh Canada. They're dressed in flags, running around and singing, this is politics. <laughs> they're dancing, the message is very simple, we're here and we're going to vote surprise. The message is very simple, not that we want interest-free loans so we can have jobs, or we want marijuana to protect from cancers, but we're here and we're going to vote, that's it. And, uh, and I just think it's one of the most positive things I've ever seen. Three million uninformed kids talking about going out there to vote, even though they got nothing to vote for and they don't know what to vote for anyway, is one of the most positive things he's ever seen. Certainly a big fan of these things. I think it's tremendous. And, uh, and I think it's something that, you know, the political parties are very concerned about. <laughs> yes, three million uninformed voters who are going to throw their darts. I'm really worried that we're not going to get our share. <laughs> and, and, you know, they still haven't really addressed them at all. And maybe that's why they responded to me on television in my rant, because we sat those, through those debates in, in both languages over two nights, and I don't remember anyone looking into the camera and talking to the young people in Canada, three million voters. I, it didn't happen. He's right. None of them looked into the camera and talked to any particular constituency about a solution to their problems, other than their wish lists of what they'd like to see be done, but not how to... All right, Rick Mercer, thanks for joining us. Thank you. I hope I haven't offended too many people if I've laughed at all the kids and the people getting hyped up by the youth getting out there to vote when there are no choices to vote that are any different from the, each other. So it's a sad state of events, and I just hope that for those people who appreciate what I'm telling them, they found this as funny as I find it. So finally, Rick Mercer, this election for prime minister, you have a choice of the lawyer, the economist, or the engineer. I'd like to know who you're going to vote for this time.